Hey guys, welcome back to Best Thing I Saw All Week. This is a brand new podcast, kinda, now since two episodes have come out, but a new podcast we're testing out here on SourceFed Nerd. The basic premise is that each person at the table is going to bring uh, some kind of media. It could be a video, photo, vine, maybe a book you read, maybe mm -hmm. a graphic novel. Who knows? You can bring it to Has the table and talk about it. Has anybody brought a book yet? Ooh. Maybe. Uh, I will. I will. You will. You, you have. Will. No, nobody's yeah. brought a book. Okay. I mean, Everything that will happen has happened. You can bring anything you'd like, but you're gonna. We're gonna duke it out. What's the mm -hmm. best thing? Whose is the best thing? No, it's not really duking out. We just want to share things with everybody. And actually, we want to share stuff with you, and you're gonna share something with us because this morning I tweeted out asking for what's the best thing you guys saw using the hashtag Best Thing Podcast. Uh, you guys can tweet using that. Uh, yeah, a little hashtag. Uh. Let us know what you think of the show and also some suggestions. And uh, I'm not gonna spoil it yet. So when it comes around. Yeah, I'll go ahead and read a special tweet from a very special boy. What special are you pointing way. at? <laughs> no, there's, oh, no, I'm just, there's an Down here, I got a real special special, special boy. boy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, for a little preview, Yes. Philip, what are you going to bring to the table? Uh, I'm going to talk about Brian K. Vaughn's Saga very series. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. DJ. I'm going to uh, bring up a movie I saw last weekend called Hell or High Water. Uh oh, last weekend. What did it? Uh, it but but, but what you mean is that like you watched it really slowly into this week. Uh huh. See, yeah. you broke the rules no. right, off, yeah, the right off the bat. I didn't know. I didn't uh -huh. know. I'm bringing a very special vine involving cats. Uh huh. Very on brand for me. Yeah. We're gonna watch it so many times. We're gonna, it's gonna just loop <laughs> yeah. for like 20 minutes. But let's kick it off real uh, quick. Yes. Wait, I I want to make everyone a little uncomfortable because I think this is fun. Oh good. Uh, just if you were on the <laughs> other side of this camera, you would know we're not exactly sure what to do with our hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just really judge us heavily. Like let us know in the comments later, like what how our hand work was. <laughs> I'm noticing a lot of us are doing a lot of this uh, cat's triangle. cradle mm -hmm. kind of thing. We got Illuminati. Going. Illuminati. Thing. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I like that mine are hidden during this, but yeah. Uh, well, we can all hide them if we want. There oh go. yeah, there we go. Everybody <laughs> Just, hide them. Like, <laughs> Whose finger? Wait, wait. Yeah. Very fun. Uh, Philip, <laughs> kick it off. All right. What you got? So I'm going to. So I'm in the process currently of catching up on Saga. Where are you at? Uh, I'm n done with Volume One, and I think. Two. You're a little Two. saga baby. Um, little saga yeah. baby. How many volumes That's are? That's beautiful how, art for how saga. How many uh, volumes are? Because I read, I read them. Each issue, so I know thirty seven just came out. Them, yeah. It's issue thirty seven. I believe there's six volumes out okay. right now. Got but uh, before we get into that, give us a quick overview of what is so uh, well this is Brian K. Vaughn, who is Why the Last Man. Uh, mm -hmm. he wrote that. He did Ex Machina. Mm -hmm. um, oh, very cool. he's done a lot of Marvel and DC. I actually first heard of him from Lost. Yes, he, he did writing, yeah, that. on like I think yeah, a couple seasons in yeah. there during like it's a good time. It was, yeah. it, was, it was not a bad time to be yeah. a Lost fan. Nice. Uh, so this is really interesting. It's a story that he apparently has been working on since high school. Nice. Like he would just zone out and like that makes we all know that he didn't me. end up. Yeah, <laughs> no. he didn't end up using math or anything. So he probably was like in like math class, and he was just coming up with these really interesting worlds and characters. And so that's kind of what's going on uh, now. I'm obviously I'm not going to spoil too much because I actually haven't gotten that far into yeah. it. Mm. Um, Don't but worry, I think that's I'll a good spoil way. it. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah. do it. <laughs> 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 Uh, but a lot of people, uh, it's been described as Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. Uh, I think what really is there is that um, there's a intergalactic battle going on between uh, two different uh, races of, well, or species mm. almost. Like, of yeah. mystical creatures. Yeah, creatures yeah. Right. So, I mean, you could think aliens, but I, I think it's important to, to almost imagine a fantasy element because no. that's definitely where it's coming from. No. Uh, and so this really interesting thing happened where it's a planet and its own moon that that's where the two races or species live. And because they're so close to each other and there's so little ground to fight on, they actually outsource their, their war into the galaxy surrounding the planet. Mm -hmm. And on the planet, nobody really cares about the war. But so this war kind of follows you as you go through different places. And this uh, story specifically is following uh, a couple who has just recently had a baby. It's kind of a Romeo and Juliet situation mm -hmm. where it's Alana and Marco. And they're, again, it's two, I want, I want I say, say the word species because I want it to feel like um, very clear. They're not even supposed to breed together. A lot yeah. of people in this are like, how did, are, they didn't like, do it, did they? Mm -hmm. Not only did they do it, they created a hybrid baby. And it's not like, not that it's just like impossible in the, in the eyes of most people, it's also socially unacceptable yeah. because Marco's from the moon, 
and mm-hmm. uh, Lana's from the planet right. Rainfall. Yeah, and so they're on opposite sides of the and war. The baby is adorable. And yeah, the baby so is so cute. It so has like adorable. little horns mm-hmm. and like wings and a mm-hmm. mix of their their yeah. features. Um, but the the main thing to probably say about this, uh, well, aside from the fact that it's very funny, mm-hmm. but it's also uh, really good like drama, really good storytelling. If you've read. Uh, Why the Last Man, um, which I read really recently uh, based on Sam's recommendation. Mm -hmm. Based on Uh, DJ's recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It it very much has that tone of like, shit is going down. It's it's very serious and scary, and yet people can be funny, and there's like a lot of wisecracking going on, um, and a lot of characters that you come to to really care about, even though they're uh, morally ambiguous. Uh, but mostly, I'm going to say my favorite thing right now is this. Of course, he came up with this in high school. The character designs are insane. Yeah. And they're yes. so, like, disgusting and yet sexual at the same time. If we can actually start showing people yeah, uh, some, of, some of these. There is uh, a spider like character that I think we have an image for. You want to start the yeah, so that's the stock. Uh-huh. Uh, so there's, there's oh, we did say, I was going to say, I was wondering. Yeah. <laughs> little, little censorship yeah. going on, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so there's bounty hunters that are after our couple and the baby, and the stock is one of them. And, I mean, when you get to this panel, you're kind of, like, grossed out. But uh-huh. at the same time, I don't know if you guys felt it, but there was, like, a hint of, like, how is this disgusting thing vaguely hot, mm-hmm. too? And that actually that's is Fiona explored. Staples. Yeah, yeah. 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 Artist, Fiona Staples Who illustrates that. Uh, yeah. that style. <laughs> My favorite's The Will. The and Will Lion is great. Cat. Lion Cat is Lion, Lion Cat, cat uh, which sounds like Lion Cat, yeah, but it's actually nope. Lion Cat, yeah. a truth detecting cat yeah. who's also the, the size of a man. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the, so uh, the whole story basically follows this couple running from both of their like backgrounds, both of their societies, mm-hmm. and their story along the way running into people uh, who have been affected by this war that may have been responsible for it or not. They're just swept up into it too. And one of my favorite uh, as- like one of my favorite stories and characters come from the Robot Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a picture in there. It's near the end. It's uh, with the man with the TV head. Yeah. If you mind throwing that up there really Prince quick. Robot Prince Four. Yes. Yeah. Or, well, so maybe. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Such a cool design for a robot. Also, and like I love. Just the different There's a fun aspects. joke in that issue oh, at the very yes. beginning. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun jokes when it comes mm-hmm. to the robot prince, and mm-hmm. I'm excited for when you get there. We won't. I think I'm there. I, th- I think I'm there. I'm just not mm-hmm. sure if I'm thinking of the same uh, Where his uh, uh, screen gets damaged yeah. and oh yeah, pop yeah, up. yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so is that is that a subconscious that is happening? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Mm-hmm. So that's another really interesting element. The uh, <laughs> the way that a lot of the different um, things that have informed our history here on Earth uh, in terms of uh, uh, wars and also um, like feudalism and stuff like they get uh, co-opted by different things. So, for instance, there's a, there's royalty, but they're all robots, mm-hmm. and they have that hierarchy of like a prince and princess and whatnot. But then in other places, it's kind of like a democracy or whatever. It's a very big mix of not only like all of our real world history, but also so many different fantasy and sci-fi yeah. elements. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like uh, if somebody like put every single sci-fi and fantasy story into like a blender, yeah, That's and then like. Shot like, it out you know, into space, mm-hmm, yeah. and it was like had a little bit of that Joss Whedon kind of style of humor. Yeah, yeah. Is, is the way I would equate yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And then again, weirdly, it you feel uncomfortable because you because you're probably reading this alone, but it's weirdly sexy at times, mm. and so it's many usually dicks. gross it's on the, the same page. So many, yeah, dicks. it's the dicks. The yeah. dicks are so sexy. You no, know, there are a lot of dicks. <laughs> there are a lot of dicks. Uh, actually, I I, I do want to show. Uh, there's also a entire. Uh, is it an entire planet? It might it might just be a ship, but it's like for prostitution, and uh, yep. the will uh, goes there <laughs> at one point. One of our uh, bounty it's hunters. It's the women with and, just legs. Yeah, there yeah. look at his character design here. <laughs> uh, I mean, nothing sexier the, than uh, taking away legs. all the favorite parts of uh, <laughs> yeah. a woman. Yeah. Um, but I mean, again, that's another example. Unless of you're great. reeling the legs. Uh-huh. Yeah, character if you're a leg guy. If you're a leg guy. I feel like hearing a woman talk. Mm, and that face and yeah. the head. It just head and face. No, yeah, I. Yeah. It is, um, Are you a tits or an ass guy? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> great. Yeah. I've got some <laughs> monsters for you. I. Everyone who I've ever met that reads comics has always asked me, do you read Saga? Because mm-hmm. it's just something that, like, I feel every comic fan should maybe just dabble in once just mm-hmm. to kind of, like, see what see what the fuss is about. And that's what it was like for me mm-hmm. a few weeks ago. And I just sat down and I plowed through all the volumes in that weekend because it was yeah. just so... It just I probably will so finish to catch up, like, now. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, at this tonight, you'll have every... Yeah, you'll yeah, be yeah. Up yeah. I mean, I, like, I seriously, I flew through. That's another thing about it. It's one of the ones... I felt the same way about Why the Last Man. I felt, like, certain ones... Um, 
like also World War Z, the book, for some reason, like they just get like this addictive thing where it's not even this that the story has so much drama to it. We're like, oh, what's gonna happen next? You just kind of like don't want to leave that world or that universe in mm-hmm. this case. Oh, definitely, especially with this. And I'm not a fantasy fan, uh, really ever. Uh, but something about this is just so damn original yeah. and fun. And it's stuff you've seen before. It's just the marriage of sci-fi and fantasy. Yeah. It's just so great. Like, there's ghosts, and then there's, like, giants, and there's dragons, oh, and yeah, like, yeah. stuff like that. And it's just Think like, that, yeah. yeah, it's in also... Like you said, the little girl, uh, the the baby, mm-hmm. is the cutest thing. There was there's a panel you're gonna get to. She says this. She says something. Uh, she says I won't explain it because I want you to read okay. it. But she okay. says the word skish, and when they explain what skish means, because she's a, she's a toddler speaking, mm-hmm. and it means something else. When I read it, I like awed out like, loud. I was like, <laughs> and, like yeah, I almost yeah, felt yeah. like it like kind of hurt my heart. I was oh, like, no, this and that's, is so that's cute. another thing <laughs> that uh, Brian yeah. Kavon is so good about. I told Sam when I finished reading Why the Last Man, uh, in in a late panel, a monkey that we like very mm. uh, a lot mm. has you know a situation or whatever. And I legitimately was like, oh crap! I'm like kind of crying. Yeah. And I'm, I'm at home mm. and I'm, I'm looking at an iPad right now. Yeah. Like, I'm a little embarrassed, but uh, that's yeah. so the best kind of comic. Yeah, yeah. I finished a Why the Last Man at VidCon this year, and man, man Brian came on so freaking good. <laughs> I but I was reading it by the pool, like on my phone, and I was like, I need to finish it. Like I couldn't not finish this book. And I was like this, and I was like. Oh. And I just started to kind of get more and more depressed, and then it ended, and I was like, "I'm empty yeah. on the inside. I don't yeah. know what to, I don't know how to feel anymore." Uh, I the closest thing I got to that was when I finished 100 Bullets because mm-hmm. um, and that's finished. I right? start, that's finished. Yeah. I started near its final run to the point where I was actually able to go to the comic shop and pick up the last issue before I didn't oh, read nice. it because I was I didn't catch up in the trades and I just put it away in my drawer until I caught up in the trades and then I oh, pulled nice. it out and read oh. it and I finished it. And I just spent like a couple hours just trying to unpack because it's a hundred <laughs> issues. You know what I mean? Most uh-huh. most um, uh, indie books, creator own books, sixty ish issues. It's kind of like um, shows like Breaking Bad or whatever, like mm-hmm. five ish seasons for comics. It's like sixty mm-hmm. ish issues, but there's a hundred issues, and it was it just trying to deal with everything yeah, that, yeah. They, that they throw at you because yeah. especially Saga, they like to tug at them heartstrings and mm-hmm. also put you through the ringer when it comes mm-hmm. to stress. So I highly recommend Saga. Would you highly recommend it? No. No, no. no. don't even that, touch no, it. No, no, no. no. It, it, Backwards it so, of what this it show's so about. Good. It's an interesting story in uh-huh. the in the letters, if you read the letters at the end, uh, which, by the way, the, if you look at the address to send the letters, it's like down the street. Like, it's very Let's go. Let's uh, go. So we're going to stop in and hand drop off our letter. Uh-huh. Um, there uh, was a story there from Brian uh, Vaughn at one point about how he, he thought it might only last six issues. Mm-hmm. Really? And then he was gonna he was gonna have like the whole like world blow up. He was like, yeah. I was just gonna have to blow up the whole universe and be like, that's it, that's the story. Mm. But the characters are so good and and all of it is so good that immediately the sales were like through the roof yeah. from like issue one to issue two. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's so even on issue one, if you're like you should be into it by then, I would say. Normally yeah. we talk about like I asked Sam uh previously, whenever you're recommending a TV show or something, like how many sh- episodes to give it. Yeah. And I would say like Saga, you should be into it by issue one. Yeah, I don't know how you couldn't be. Like, the first page where it's like, I love, there's a narration that goes on, mm-hmm. and I love the handwritten, like, yeah. narrations that yeah, are just which kind of is in the, the ethos. Artist, yeah, 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 yeah. Fiona Staples is amazing, and I can't, I love books that are able to keep the same artist through their entire run. 100 Bolts did it, it with Eduardo Riso, mm-hmm. and you, I don't think you could do the book without Fiona Staples. Well, Agreed. they say you can't make a comic without Staples. Mm, it's mm-hmm. true. Oh, very true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Very true. But the first line is, Along the lines of, I think I'm gonna shit myself. First page, yeah, right yeah, off the bat, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm in. I'm yeah. like, I don't care. I'm a 12 yeah. year old. I need this. Like, I need to know what this means. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have to like hear the whole story. And their just relationship is so. You Real, see it. You though, see too. it. Yeah. You know, like their problems. Like how like people react to things. Like right. yeah. No. People are fuck-ups like they are. There's yeah. a great moment in there where, uh, you know, you you really have just hooked in and you're like, this could be, you know, a, a relationship for, for all of eternity. Like one of these powerful, again, Romeo and Juliet yeah, kind yeah. of relationships. And right around then, uh, there's a situation that happens that I won't spoil, but the guy basically just says the wrong girl's name. And it's yeah. like, oh, man, no. they're such fuck-ups. Yeah. The two of them, they mess up so often. Yeah. And that is so much more like real. They're taking too. on the whole galaxy, and it's like, God, they don't have their shit together <laughs> yeah. at all. It's like you <laughs> uh, uh, unlikely protagonist mm. uh, in a great way, yeah. No. Makes them more relatable.
relatable. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan. You should check that out. They're on uh, episode. They're on issue 37 right yeah, now. Yeah, just came out last week, right? Mm-hmm. Last yeah. Wednesday. Uh, last, last last Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. It's very good. Um, you can pick up the trades or just come find me and I'll, <laughs> I'll read it to you. So yeah. There you go. I'll just read it to you <laughs> when you go to sleep. To you. Fine, <laughs> Sam. Very cool. So, Philip, that's the best thing you saw this week? Uh, yeah. Very no, cool. DJ. What? Welcome to the show. Thanks. First off, Thank uh, it's still a new show, so mm-hmm. welcome to everybody. Uh, yeah. But what did you want to talk about? Your, guy, your guys' lovely beards. Yes, talk about mm-hmm. it. How it doesn't fill <laughs> in right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you add ours up, it equals yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I saw Hell or High Water, Hell or High and Water. you should go see it. The end. Oh, yeah. 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 all right. Yeah. Now it's my turn. No. Wow. Yeah. Uh, seriously, like and, I kind of, I kind of want. This was difficult for me because it's like, well, the best thing I saw all week was Hell or High Water, but I don't want to tell anybody anything about it. I don't want them to go watch a trailer. I don't want mm-hmm. them to read anything. I just, they should just go see it. Mm-hmm. I think it's just fair to talk cold. about uh, because I'm, I haven't seen this movie. Oh, yet, I'm but going to. It's too late. Excited. It's, it's <laughs> been out for I, two weeks. I'm going to spoil <laughs> the whole movie. <laughs> Get ready. You missed your opportunity. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. But what were you going to say? What were you well, gonna... no, I was just going to say that um, it if you don't go too much into the plot, from what I can tell, so the guy that wrote it wrote Sicario, yes. mm-hmm. which Sicario good. was really good, mm-hmm. but yeah. if you didn't like Sicario, maybe this isn't your kind of movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, no, it's, it's funny because Sicario is uh, relentlessly bleak. Mm-hmm. Um, this not well, the so drug much. Tra- if you haven't seen Sicario, it's yeah. about the Mexican drug trade and how there's no answer to that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so that is a bleak storyline. Um, <laughs> and it, this movie reminded me a lot of No Country for Old Men, mm-hmm. uh, but also even though No Country for Old Men is relentlessly bleak, mm-hmm. this is uh, not a happy-go-lucky movie, but it's not quite as nihilistic, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the the dialogue is um, beautiful. Like it's very uh, colloquial. It's very, it's very how people. It's how it's an idealized version of how people talk, mm-hmm. which I think is my favorite way to write dialogue. Mm-hmm. I, I agree because it's a little but, heightened. A because tiny people are like, heightened. oh, tiny. I like it when it's not naturalistic. It's like, no, have you listened to real people talk? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We I enjoy, speak garbage. It's I, bad. I enjoy when it's natural, but because sometimes ideal like speaking. I, I want it to obviously. I want it to feel natural, but mm-hmm. you want to be engaged, mm-hmm. and this is very right. engaging. Everybody, whatever character you run into, has something interesting to say, but it feels real and it feels lived in. Mm-hmm. The the premise it's a it's a western heist movie. Wonder why it's my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, um, those two yeah. genres. Yeah, yeah. Right. so uh, I love crime movies. I love westerns, mm-hmm. and this is it and it's is modern day. It right? is set in the present, mm-hmm. although you'd be forgiven for at times forgetting that because they are in the backwater Texas, mm-hmm. like away from. Everything. Most civilization. <laughs> you could drive through Texas. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like you that that's out there for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. There's you know, I think it's in a stretch around El Paso or whatever, but it's like Yeah, there's mm-hmm. a there's I got par- stopped parts for of, driving yeah, there a number of times. There's mm-hmm. parts of Texas where uh, there's a lot of nothing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. this is around a lot of nothing. Who's uh who are we seeing in this? Um film, the huh? you're following uh Chris Pine, who mm-hmm. is by far the most beautiful person in the movie. Very true. Um <laughs> they tried to ugly him up, did not I, work out that way. Well. I don't know. Uh Ben Foster. Ben Foster might be uh he no, he ugly He's up a lot better than Chris Pine. <laughs> yeah, he's well, a, he's, look he's at that. I mean, he's a little, yeah. Yeah. He's but a little he's rough. great. He's great. In, both of them are great. And then um, um, you also have uh, the dude, Jeff Bridges, Jeff Bridges, yeah. who is the, um, he's the melting the law man. <laughs> no, who's the law man hunting yeah. down it? He's fantastic. And uh, I just because I don't want to do him to disservice, I'm going to look up Jeff Bridges, the name of his partner. I did not. I, he's one of those. He's one of those people that you have seen in a movie mm-hmm. before. Um, uh, Buck, T- oh no, that's the old man. Don't do that. <laughs> that's the Gil, old man. Uh, Gil Birmingham. Uh huh. That's the actor's name. That's his partner. Yeah, that's the actor Ooh. who plays his partner. Uh huh. Very cool. And what has Ben Foster done? Because he Disney. was Angel. Funny enough, he, he was started on Disney. But yeah, I didn't know that he was yeah. Angel in X Three: The Last Stand. He was oh. um, <laughs> uh, Russell Crowe's partner in Three Ten to Yuma. Um, okay. I like he's, that. Um, su- he's surprisingly good, actually. He's, like, like well, he's, a re- he's a real. I think he's a real powerhouse. He's really good in Three Ten Yuma. He's mm-hmm. really good here. Mm-hmm. Chris Pine is really good here. Mm-hmm. Um, this is shooting at the same time as Star Trek, the recent Star Trek movie. Too. Really? Yeah. So if you want, I'm, I'm assuming mm-hmm. if you want to see a completely different side, yes. Chris Pine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they do here. some. It's it's the opening scene perfectly sums up everything else you will experience in the movie, mm-hmm. and that's such a that's such a wonderful experience. It's good to see like a movie. You know, where it's like, 
has its three acts and it's well paced and you're well, kind of like, like part of it movie. and you don't you don't have a movie where it's like we're relying on 30 minutes of explosions at the end to keep you engaged right. like mm-hmm. well no, that's a there good are, heist movie too like yeah. Yeah. it just has that cranking tension as yeah. it goes yeah, yeah it really that, the reason is. why I like Fantastic Fest so much is because it's kind of like a week of just yeah. real movies that they're shorter but they actually feel like well thought out complete yeah. stories movies. and I would like exactly yeah. movies but they're not like and I think we don't get enough of those now that I kind of forget what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> I only get that like when I went and saw Green Room. Like yeah. that's when I that's one of my favorite movies of because all time and it feels like a first, mm-hmm. second, third. Most big finished. budget studio tentpole whatever's don't function like movies anymore. No. <laughs> no. Like they just don't like they're uh, spectacles. Yeah, they're they're just spectacle, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And they sometimes they can and I think those ones stand out from mm-hmm. the rest of them, but uh so when you see something like The Witch or Green Room or Everybody Wants Some or actually, everybody wants some. So it's in its own little world. Yeah. Uh, uh, or Hell or High Water. It's like, oh, a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot. I forgot yeah. these things. Well, one way, uh, easy way to see is it's it's surprisingly short, isn't it? I think it's like two hours. I think it's oh. you know like normal movie length. <laughs> I think it's you know? shorter than two it's hours. It's a little. Actually. I think it's a little under two hours. Yeah, I have yeah. it right here. Let's let's find out. Um, Less than two hours. Which change. which just tells you that that's a streamlined story. That's like, mm. no, we got it. This is a story we're gonna tell. Mm. We're gonna take it real simple. It reminds me. One uh, hour forty two. Yeah, one forty-two. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, if I uh, with I again, I, I agree with DJ. I like going into these kinds of movies not knowing yeah. too much, but I feel like there's a thing about just uh, a debt to to family and the concept of family. That- uh, you know, there's a little bit of stuff like that. It deals a lot with thematically. No, I'm not. I'm going to get into the uh, boring thematic stuff that's there. But you don't <laughs> need it. You don't. That's not. That's not what the movie's about. The mm-hmm. movie's not trying. Doesn't have an agenda. Isn't trying to really say anything about anything. But it touches on a lot of issues we're dealing with now as Americans. Huh. Mm-hmm. Um, and. With, and I like that. It's it's a nice, easy way of it. It bumps into things. Yeah. That gets you thinking about them, but it's not like, hey, you need to know this mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, hey, hey this is not boring. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, m- calm down. No, it's not. It's not. It's not that type of movie. Does anyone ever say um, gods or talk about their father? Or no. Or, mm-hmm. no, 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 things like that. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just a really fun. I I have trouble. Imagine anybody not enjoying this movie. I guarantee there will be at least oh, two or three course. people in the comments who are like, "I thought it was boring." <laughs> yeah. uh, well, pe- uh, I mean, there's a, a pretty sorry. loud group out there that doesn't like No Country for Old Men. Yeah, shut um, up. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, and it's like I think it's that's Sam, a fantastic Sam, Sam's movie. Sam's about already he doesn't like uh, No Country for Old Men. No, I just didn't enjoy it. Well, that's, that's different. That's, 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 that's different. different. That's like, different. Yeah. Why didn't Why didn't you enjoy it? There's a whole podcast where we can okay. break apart that. It's just it, it, it was part of the bleakness. It was just like yeah. and it he's wasn't not wrong. It's yeah. not meant to be enjoyed, and it's it's actually like yeah. this whole thing that you think you like is a bad thing, and we should mm. not like this. It's yeah. an, it's an experience movie, and when I was watching it, probably wasn't in the right mind. Like yeah. there are movies you go and see, and there could be things happening outside of it that just kind of ruin it for you. Yeah. So just how dour that movie is, and yeah. like just me sitting through it, I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. nah, yeah. I'm not, in, I'm not feeling this. Then also, you might enjoy this more. Okay, yeah. And also you, you're pitching, you're pitching it very well. Oh, so good. I, well, would, it's just, it's just, I would like to check it out I, again. And it's also I'm biased because this is so far up my alley. Yeah, westerns. Uh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you it's, love it's, westerns. It's, oh, and I love heist movies. Yeah. I love stuff like that. So it's literally like everything I could want in mm-hmm. a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, I will say near the end, it starts, uh, uh, doing some things that you've seen before, uh-huh. but the way it resolves is beautiful. Mm. That's awesome. All right. That's cool. I think one of the reasons, by the way, I link on a lot of Western and heist movies is, I don't want to dumb it down and just say the anti-hero, yeah. but the idea that your protagonists are, are really muddy with their morals. Yeah. And also in really good Westerns and really good heist movies, the antagonists that are after them are usually pretty likable too, and you kind of get where they're coming that, from. That is something that's a part of the element of this movie is there's not the... Um, uh, Jeff Bridges and his partner are definitely on the uh, side of the angels, but nobody's really blameless mm-hmm. especially by the end like everybody it's it's a it's complicated yeah i love and I that like, you need that kind of it's complicated. i love that it, uh, heat yeah. i love in heat how you is an amazing both sides. movie if you, uh, we could talk not about a short movie that is no. No, <laughs> not but, a short uh, movie yeah because you have two actors that require an entire movie's worth yeah, yeah. of scenes but heat uh, is by contract amazing yeah uh, mm-hmm. it's robert de niro and al pacino by the yeah. way if you haven't seen that and then uh the fugitive yeah mm-hmm. uh is a classic oh, where you're so kind of like like, oh, Harrison Ford, you know, he didn't kill his wife. But at the same time, you're like, I 
God damn, I like Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, like, why do way, I like him so much? By the way, going back to uh, Heat for a minute, a lot of Michael Mann's early work. Thief is really good. Mm -hmm. um, what was the other one? Anyway, Michael Mann early stuff is really great. Uh, There's a lot of the, movies here that I have uh, not seen, seen all the way through that I need I to check out. I highly recommend. I, not a lot of people have seen Thief. It was on Netflix when I watched it. If it still is, mm -hmm. it's not going to be for everybody. I really liked it. You know, I, cool. I loved Collateral. Yeah. Collateral is good. I, I like Collateral. That's not that old. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. And also, Los Angeles looks it's oh. like impossibly different than yeah, yeah. Uh, the other Michael Mann was Manhunter yeah, before Manhunter yeah before uh, Hannibal Lecter yeah before Anthony Hopkins was Hannibal Lecter right. um, oh yeah Brian it, Cox Is yeah Brian Cox, Cox. Okay. I really like that too that's mm -hmm. received more of a mixed reception but I enjoy it the Hell or High Water that's a limited release correct yeah and, yeah that's a good point yeah. most of you probably will not be able <laughs> uh -huh. to see it unfortunately but when it comes out on Netflix if Bam. it comes to your town mm -hmm. if maybe there's a petition you can sign to get it there <laughs> go ahead go to your Change theater go ask for the movie you can go ask for the movie doesn't mean anything's gonna happen but uh, they'll know they, they'll know they'll know there's this person that keeps asking for movies that they can't get their hands on <laughs> oh, yeah. all right that's fun you guys both had amazing things to bring to the table i'm about to dumb it down yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and would you mind throwing up the video that i would like to talk about i found a vine this week and it is the goddamn most adorable thing i've ever seen let's gonna take a let's take a peek there it is is it playing oh god oh it's so cute Oh, it's so cute. And that's it. And, it's it. Yeah. Yeah. and that's this all I want to say. This is the best yeah. podcast. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Best thing I've uh, seen all week. So, Sam, are you trying to tell me that you're into cats? Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> no, yeah. It's, uh, it, okay, so, for the podcast listeners, which yes. I don't think we're doing that right now, but if you are listening to this <laughs> yeah. and you just happen to not watch it, yeah, yeah, for a moment. Yeah, and you don't want to go back, that was a short video. Right it's a short video of the most adorable munchkin cat. I've ever laid my eyes Sam, on. what the hell is a munchkin cat? A munchkin cat. It's a genetic mutation. Good. Oh, Ooh, like Wolverine. Like, yeah. This is the Wolverine of cats. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's a genetic, genetic mutation where a little kitten's legs grow a little shorter. Mm -hmm. And technically, because I was looking this up on Wikipedia, and I know when I say something controversial like this, people yeah. are going to call me out in the comments. So <laughs> I'm going to say what I did very general research yeah. is that it's not detrimental to the health of the cat. As far uh, as I can tell, it is just a genetic mutation. I do like um, that whenever we have, we like to celebrate these animals that are genetically fucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, but then you breed them oh, and it gets worse. Yeah, you're it's like, like, oh great, you'll never be able to eat normal ever again. You're adorable. Yeah. Give us a hundred years, cats are going to be like snakes. <laughs> Their legs will uh, just be little nubs and they like just crawl around like that. Yeah. Adorable. If you, if you follow me on social media, you know I got a puppy fairly recently. Uh, uh, a little Kylo, at Kylo Pope. Is a very Instagram. cute pup. Uh, and he's half dachshund, and mm. so he has those little mm. nubby yeah. legs, but mm. otherwise he's kind of like Jack Russell. Yeah. But the fact that his like belly kind of like sometimes hits the floor, mm. or he kind of has to run like mm. by like toggling back yeah. and forth. Yeah. Or oh god, it's cute. No, the best yeah. part about puppies and kittens is the gigantic paws, the heads mm. that are too big, yeah. short legs, and then the belly uh, scratches on the ground. It's like you're so <laughs> yeah. you're so innocent. So these are just like perpetual kittens, and like, okay. people people are a fan of that. And I got a couple more pictures that no. I want to throw up there. Uh -huh. All right, I want to ask you guys, are you a fan of cats? Okay, I have a weird thing with cats. <laughs> Here we go. Here I got on. a weird thing with cats. Good I, I yeah. am a fan of cats. Oh, it's a cute one. That is a tiny uh, one. I think cats are beautiful or very cute or really fat, and I like that too. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I like all of those things. I'm a little allergic, but that's not the problem. The Same. problem is the, there's this weird thing that cats do that dogs don't. Where uh, they be assholes? Yeah, no. <laughs> a uh, no. yeah, it's appear in your dreams and tell you when you're gonna die. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, they like when they want to like cuddle or whatever. It gets fucking sexual. But what like, are you? They, like, yeah, I like, get some, some head nods or whatever. Where you'd be like, Who, like who's nodding? What just like, what just happened? And it's like, oh, that's my cat. Uh, oh, she likes you or whatever. And then like while like no one's looking. The cat like gets all up to you and then goes and like starts to vibrate on uh, you and it just has this like weird like th like my girlfriend doesn't do this like uh, this is just a weird thing between cats and humans. Okay, and it's, it's um, a little too. That might be <laughs> that is a not thing between to me. you and Andres. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. might be a thing between no, you we're guys. We're both in Florida, uh, so maybe a Florida cat <laughs> hey, I'm from Florida too, man, and I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Uh, I also <laughs> have a unique uh, uh, thing with cats in that I think they're trash animals. No, liar. Oh, no. I don't like them. I know you thought about getting one. No. I, I know never. You, you walked down the street and you saw someone walking their cat like a weirdo. Have, and you're like, that's a cute my cat. My experience with cats is they don't give a shit 
about you and i just <laughs> much rather have a Maybe dog a, a team a <laughs> teammate a partner point. like no well like uh, let me rephrase it then cats look like they actively don't like us that's not true. saying i <laughs> not saying i don't get it i get it i just rather be with a dog that seems to like my company uh-huh. yeah i think in a versus scenario that's yeah. a no-brainer mm-hmm. like the dog's on your side you mm-hmm. know cat like stabs you in the back yeah <laughs> my experience with cats is like oh man like when i'm over a friend's house they have a cat the cat will let me pet it great i'm petting the cat and then i'll be like we're gonna Playing the claws come out and it starts scratching right. by you. No, screw you, cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so even when they're affectionate, they suck. Cats I, I suck. I want to see what happens when DJ's put in a room full of cats. cats. <laughs> Just like what what happens? No. Like not like who comes out? Uh, like uh, they like speak who perfect wins, English. Yeah. Yeah. Who wins? Yeah. Who dies? Yeah. I win. They die. I, That's what happens. DJ no. bigger. <laughs> DJ bigger. He can grab mm-hmm. a cat. <laughs> I'd be yeah. scratched up. Uh, if you wouldn't mind throwing the vine on the screen again, I I <laughs> wanted to you switch need it, it up. You need yeah. a fix. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Kittens are adorable. Kittens are so cute. There they are. Come here, little kitten. Oh. Run towards us. There oh. you are. Uh, I just like personally how weird cats can get. They're so yeah. antisocial. And they mm-hmm. always think, like, they're the kid in class that, like, or wants to be James Bond, mm-hmm. but and so they're gonna do everything they can to no. act like James Bond. And so like when they leave classroom, they'll like slink along the wall, you know, and they'll like <laughs> they'll peek in and then like they'll like roll to their chair to sit down. It's like yeah. We see you. Yeah. Same thing with cats. Or yeah. like, or <laughs> also, I just love. I don't know, man. I, it's something cats. about. It's <laughs> something <laughs> about that I'm so allergic to them. Like I, I touch oh, that a cat. Uh, the one where you can't have. Yeah, it's <laughs> like the kid who presses his face against the window of a candy shop. It's oh. like, <laughs> just give it to me. <laughs> but I can't. But he's allergic to candy. Yeah, I gotta get a hypoallergenic <laughs> little no. uh, munchkin cat. Also, best thing about munchkin cats, and think about this. Okay. They're they're always. Social animals. They're they're more social than normal breeds of cats. There you go. That sounds um, like a plus to me. They're more playful. Yeah. They, but like most people say, like since they can't jump up, it kind of like you're able to push them away <laughs> a little easier than normal cats. They can't like get in your face and like try to like turn you on. No, I. I, I, <laughs> I don't know that. Most cats are, uh, like uh, goal in life is I never really got the sexual thing, but I will say that one of my roommates. Time with them. <laughs> one of my roommates' dogs. That's true. You are allergic, and I hate them. So maybe. We yeah, 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 maybe yeah. they're like looking for the right guy. <laughs> girl, you know, but I know that one of the dogs definitely who wasn't fixed did something to oh, no. a person's pants. Saga. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's the pants. I thought it was the dog and the cat. No, <laughs> the uh, war infections. I mean, yeah, probably. I'll, I'll say, note how uh, some of the best videos on the internet are cats or kittens that were not raised by their mother cat, but it's like this cat thinks it's a dog or yeah. thinks it's a deer, or thinks yeah. it's anything but a cat, and then everyone's like, oh, I love cats. Yeah. If we could just fix their personalities yeah. a little bit, I think that would like make training. It, like, like yeah. you just show them a bunch of videos and like yeah. you act like a deer now. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. act like a fish. You would deer. Yeah. Yeah. I would love that. Um, but okay, fish. Uh, my thing's a little short because I want to get to the <laughs> piece de resistance. Wow. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, took a little fringe. Very Anyways, well. but, uh, seems very worldly, <laughs> well, ladies. We tweeted out using the hashtag Best Thing Podcast. Yes, uh, that's and the one we're on. That's the one we're yes. doing. And I asked for suggestions from you guys about what we should talk about and. <laughs> We got a tweet. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's very yeah. detailed. Please do. It's from Tony Ryan, uh-huh. wrote at SourceFed Nerd. This. On screen. He wrote Engage. this. <laughs> he just wrote this. And he went to a video. If you wouldn't mind playing the video for us, or at least a little clip of it, and I will describe it thoroughly. In detail. And uh, it's a viral video that came out of <laughs> two very lovely uh, elderly people shooting a commercial yeah. for a uh, it's a food it's a restaurant chain in Maine and this guy for the love of God can't say buttery flaky crust yeah. and he's talking about this pot pie and I relate to him <laughs> so of course you do. fucking why? much why would you why would you colorful read? birds Words, yeah cardboard and I love in this video if you watch the woman she starts to mouth the words yeah. as she as he keeps messing up and he's laughing and he's trying to like play it off like yeah. it's no big deal, or maybe it's not a big deal to him, but she's getting so frustrated. There you go. There Move the lens a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She gets, well, uh, the best part, spoiler alert, uh-huh. is when she's they ask her to do it, uh-huh. and she starts messing it up. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's like brainwashed her yeah. at that point. And then the director just has it, and he's yeah. like, hey, you guys back there, you want to do the yeah, damn commercial? Yeah. And then finally they get it, but I love it because the, the, the man in the commercial is looking at her while he, she's doing yeah. it, and it's like, you... 
wasted the take, man. Come on, try again. Well, that's all. That's a lot of them. If you go back and watch when uh, when he's trying to get it, there's so you can hear early on the, in the direction they're both. They're, she's supposed to be smiling, uh-huh. and each time you see her smile, like fading more and more. Drums. It's just yeah. like <laughs> I love. I want to see the version that made it into the commercial, uh-huh. which just like is like cut from a bunch of different edits or yeah. whatever, and they have to cover their faces. I know that that restaurant just got a lot of business yeah. from this from this blooper reel. Did they put it up on their on their uh, nice. on the on the Publis uh, the the uh, what is it called the ad the, yes agency the people who shot it uh, yeah the people who shot it yes. but they obviously have all the information for the restaurant in there and nice. I just I would love to go there and I yeah. know <laughs> I think it would have been good there you go Dysarts 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 nailed it uh, <laughs> you know it rolls off the tongue obviously yeah. <laughs> um, but I I wish they left the blooper. Yeah. in the trailer or the commercial because I think it would have made no, me want we, to go more. We only do that here. We only, yeah, yeah, we only do that in uh, the building. Oh, you messed up. Bed. That's definitely the take we're using. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that here. Yeah. Yeah. Editors, anytime we're, we're like, all right, and then uh, we'll do like a special effect or something. Mm. I'll watch the video later. It's like, of course you did not do that. Yeah, yeah. Right guys, it, it's better. <laughs> it's better, <laughs> it's better yeah. that way. It makes it so much more enjoyable. Uh, but do you guys have a favorite uh, mess up when it comes to news broadcasts? Have you ever seen... Uh, um, uh, there's a guy, what the hell happened to him? Whenever they cut away from, like, broadcasts where, like, they try to do man-on-the-street things and they yeah. mess up, and then they cut back to the people in the, like, room, and yeah. they can't keep their shit together yeah. at all. That's always, oh, I'm always yeah, a fan yeah, of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was the Ryan Lochte one was, was one of the main ones. Oh, my God. Where they cut back from that interview. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, uh, University of Florida, by the way, shout uh-huh. out to Ryan Lochte. <laughs> uh, he, the, the newscaster is like, how... How did he, he's lucky he's handsome or whatever? Yeah, they like can't take it. By the way, Ryan Lochte's not that handsome. He's better looking. Uh, says you. Than, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, he's a pretty. Uh, he's pretty good looking. Is he? He's yes. Good looking right. guy, yeah. No, but I mean, as soon as he starts talking, you're that's like, the, that's the whole like. Uh, uh, Every time he's come up and thinking like, well, at least he's handsome. It's like he's got that douche bro. Looks like he's been hit in the face one too many times thing going on. Yeah, but yeah, that it, goes like he that. looks he, <laughs> looks he looks like a handsome person and that fell on his that fell on his face a lot. Yeah, but that's not a looks thing. That's just a. But that's it just is a like, I mean, like yeah, yeah, keep the neck down in mind. That's yeah. where, that, well, okay, all right. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to go there, that's, uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, I think like someone wants to go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as an aside, mess ups. What's your favorite mess up? I really like any interview with Ryan Lochte because you could. See how hard oh, the man. interviewer is trying to keep it together yeah. and just like Real dumb. get any <laughs> answer out of them. And like my, one of my favorite was somebody asked him like they were like trying to do like social media questions yeah. with him, and they're like, "What's your phone background?" And he looked and he was like, "Rocks." And oh, he didn't say God. anything else, and like he didn't like show anybody. It's just. Rock. Yeah. And uh, like he's like, this is the funniest thing ever. Yeah. He had a reality show for a second, yeah. yep. and then that got canceled. Gainesville, Florida. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's where I went to school. Uh, uh, so I, I have a, actually Ryan Lochte's story that's a, a source-fed nerd exclusive <gasps> uh, because we went to school with him. So uh, I was in the the comedy group there, and we would throw lots of parties. Mm-hmm. And then uh, right before I got in, and with the nerdy generation that that eventually took it over, there was a group that was like a bunch of cool kids, and they were in like frats and stuff. Yeah, and they would. Uh, Cross pollinate a lot with the athletes at UF, and this is like it, during these years at UF, it's it's all it's Tim Tebow, it's, it's yeah. Ryan Lochte, oh, it's like cool. it's all these major uh, athletes. So it was kind of a big deal to be at these parties. But Ryan Lochte was a freshman at a certain point, and no one knew who he was. And one of our guys was there and was uh, uh, handing out beers. To people, you know, you the yeah. keg guy or whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, manning the keg. And it, I guess they ran out of cups. And so he, he, Ryan Lochte's there. Ryan Lochte's like, well, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's Ryan Lochte. Like, I don't know how to solve cups. <laughs> uh, and so I, uh, I'll cut the story a lot shorter than it is. But I'll just say that uh, my friend gave him a Frisbee, and Ryan Lochte drank his beer out of a Frisbee. Oh, boy. That's what he looked like, like a freaking dog. Ryan there you go. Lochte. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, by the way, mess up, is probably the one of the weatherman who... Uh, Whatever the stupid joke is, I don't even remember the joke, but when he gets it, he laughs like way too hard and it's like really high pitch. Like, uh-huh. ah! or whatever. And then like <laughs> they kind of laugh and then he laughs again and it's really awkward. But if you watch Oh, wait, it on is loop, it like from like. It's from a long time ago. From like Haiti, right? Is yeah, it from it's like, like, like a, Haiti. It's like, a, it's like a different, like it's from a different nation yeah. and like people like don't get. 
it or it's comedy. edited weird or yeah. something. No, it, but it's it's just the way it, like the energy of that room. Uh -huh. And w if look it up, watch it on loop, and it'll drive you mad, and uh, then it'll good. make you laugh, and then it'll make you kill someone. Yeah. Like, it's amazing <laughs> there you go. to watch. That's the best kind. You got any Probably favorite? Place. You know, up? I don't really remember. Man. I don't. I don't. You don't remember people's mistakes. mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Give a favorite I, one from I'm Sam. I'm just thinking, I'm just <laughs> thinking, oh man, there's so many to yes. choose from. It's, uh, it's painful sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the do it live. Huh? Well, do it live. Do it live. Oh, do it live. Is that Bill O'Reilly? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. I've never okay. seen a man get so angry, like mm -hmm. legitimately angry no. on TV before. Mm -hmm. And that was so not worth it. No. Oh. So not worth it. But guys, how many times have you been angry on camera? Let us know in the comments <laughs> down below or send us links. Those are always fun. But thank you guys for tuning into the best thing yeah. I saw yes. a week. TV show, not TV. <laughs> We're on TV. You can go ahead and put us on your TV. You I love that. Ben I want to give a shout out real quick to shout one out. of the other best things that I think we all saw this week. It was when the tweets I saw it, uh, in there. Uh, Stranger Pugs. Stranger Pugs. Stranger Pugs was Stranger pretty Pugs. good. Oh, oh you got to look it up. Doug okay. the Pug as Stranger Things characters, and the Barb one is just mm, so good. Barb's Barb's is one of the best. <laughs> yeah. Also, Eleven's is pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in and listening and watching along with us. Let us know what the best thing was that you saw this week using the hashtag Best Thing Podcast. Comment down below. Hit us up on Twitter. Oh. Wait. <gasps> Did also, you think of Sam and I have a podcast oh, called Only Stupid ahead. Answers. <laughs> oh, were you good? I, I thought I you were. To do a I thought I thought uh, the ship was going no, down. No, no. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Sam and I have a podcast <laughs> called Only Stupid Answers Bam. on iTunes and SoundCloud. Bam. At Only Stupid Answers on Twitter. Take out the mouse. We're stupid. We can't. It's too, it's too long. Uh, I was gonna. <laughs> well, I was gonna throw to you. Did you want to do a just, little plug? I plug. Think you just did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Only Stupid Answers. Also at DJ Talks Trash. I Bam. just had a video come out today mm -hmm. talking about does Spider Man Homecoming have too many villains possibly oh uh, i'm philip molina you can hit me up at fimo on twitter or at fimo knows on instagram or if you want to see my puppy um i'll be here uh, if you <laughs> want to see my puppy it's at kylo pup at uh, instagram too it's all it's not because i'm crazy it's because all my pictures were just of a puppy and people requested it uh and also i'm a little bit crazy also wait wait sam what about you oh okay uh, <laughs> i gotta hold it hand yeah. at sam basher on twitter and instagram and YouTube. Go ahead and follow me on all those things. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. Like this video, share it, and subscribe. Look how natural we are at hands. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. <laughs> it's, it's very really warm. so good at the game of hands. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Huge thank you thank to everybody you. who tuned into our iPhone 7 live stream today. It's a lot of fun, but now we're going to break down everything we saw, what got us excited, and what made Sammy real mad.